This is just a clarification video for some of the things that we talked about in the uh, SP2 and SP hybridization videos. And so we looked at ethene and we said that each of these carbons right, is SP2 hybridized. And then I showed you how to come up with this picture here. And really briefly we talked about the pi bond that's present in the ethene molecule. So one of these bonds in here is a pi bond. And I talked about how the side-by-side -side overlap right, of orbitals here uh, gives you a pi bond. And uh, in one of the drawings I, I didn't emphasize enough that it's actually you get overlap uh, in two different places, right? So even though it's only one pi bond, you get overlap in these side by side overlap in two places, and so that's that's really representing one pi bond here. And the same the same thing applies to the video on sp hy hybridization, right? So we talked about the ethyne molecule, and we talked about how these carbons right here are sp hybridized. And once again, I showed you how to build up this picture. And uh, since it's sp hybridized, there are actually two pi bonds. And so one of the pi bonds, you could say, once again, it's side by side overlap. So you could say, remember, you get overlap in one place and then two places, right? So that's one pi bond right there. And then we have um, another pi bond uh, in the molecule. And so you could say there's overlap here side by side overlap here and then also over here too and so that's a little bit more accurate picture uh, showing the pi bonding which I should have done in in the earlier videos and so I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to clear that up a little bit of course it makes your picture look a little bit uh, a little bit busy but that's uh, that's the idea of what's happening so also look in, look in some good textbooks for some uh, better computer graphics showing showing this interaction